guys, we finally got to the HRC Integra. I had to take a moment for myself, right? Me and Jeff are here, and uh, that's, that's nice. The first thing Jeff said is that I need to buy the hood and whatever accents on the bumper. He hasn't seen the rest of it yet. I've seen it in photos, but in person, it looks beautiful. So we'll tell you, right? Check this guy out. I mean, it gets no better than this. And the hood looks amazing. That's literally my favorite piece thus far that I've seen. Um, but it obviously has the upgraded intercooler uh, and all the little tidbits that you would find on it that they've already unveiled, right? One, uh, one thing I was curious about the most was this side skirt, because I'm not sure, and looking at it now, it looks like it's a completely different fender. So I don't know if HRC will sell this, but there are pieces to this kit that I do want to purchase. Um, and if you guys can see, I'll get even closer, but you can see right here, there's grooves in on this, on this fender lining. So I think it's just a completely different fender. Have you checked that out? Look at the fender. It's, it's different as well. But in person, this thing is so beautiful. So, so beautiful. I actually like the spoiler uh, on, the, on the actual race type S. I'll show you guys that too now. But I mean, still, nonetheless, the profile from it, right? When you're looking at it from the back, this thing looks aggressive, super aggressive. Even the Borla exhaust, look at, look at the Borla exhaust on this guy, like, literally, literally. It's just like the Godfather, just when I think I'm out, they just keep pulling me back in, right? But, I mean, this is where I love it the most, and I doubt the doors are open. I don't know how much you're gonna see on camera, but just all the carbon accents on the interior, the full, Recaro buckets with the Alcantara suede on it. I mean, this thing is so badass. And then this is what I love the most, completely eliminating the whole rear end and you get the carbon everywhere. Now this, I would gladly do in my car. Who needs rear seats? You just buy another one, right? But wow. So overall impressions, this thing's just perfect. Like literally perfect. And now there's pieces on it that I do want, so. We'll see when they come out, what they come out with, but for sure, I definitely want the fenders and the hood, like 100% want. And then real quickly here, guys, right? Obviously the real steal of the show is the HRC, but this is the, their HRC, I guess the, I get the track centric one, right? So there's literally nothing in this car, but all just weight savings to get on the track, right? This thing is it's badass too, but I just really wanted to highlight that spoiler because Jeff, does, he likes the one on the HRC model better than the actual racing model. But still, really, really cool, really, really sharp. This one doesn't obviously have some of the functionality that the other one has, but still really, really cool. And now we just have a problem because I got to wait and buy more HRC parts. Yay me. But the Borla exhaust, I've been waiting for a cat back. So I'm going to see if that cat back system comes with the functionality where I can still open and close my valve. A lot of them that do come with it are just a dual tip and I don't want a dual tip, I want the tri tip. So we'll see what Borla's kicking up on that side. Maybe we go find them and see how much it's gonna cost me, right? But exhaust, hood, fenders, for sure need.
Lamborghinis love catching on fire.
Turn it.